What's up everybody? Uh, just a really quick UE4 video on modifying the default uh, sky sphere in Unreal to achieve different effects. Uh, so by default, it's very nice to see. It's got sun, some clouds, lots of cool things. Uh, but let's say we don't want that. Let's say we want night scene. Well, you'll see that there are a couple things uh, fairly intimately integrated in this sky sphere. The first is this light source. Uh, you'll see that it, while it controls the light source in your scene, it also has the power to affect your sky sphere. Uh, and to make it do that is just simple rotation. So if you rotate that light source 180 degrees, and then you click on your sky sphere, you want to click this button that's refresh material that will update the material to match. So that is the most basic way to get this uh, sky sphere material. Uh, to change to something that's not the default bright blue sky. Uh, another way is we can just take this light and rotate it 180 degrees again. And what we're going to do is set up a nighttime scene for this. And we're going to click refresh material. So you'll see our stars are starting to appear. Uh, but we, what we want to do now is also on our sky sphere, we want to uncheck the colors determined by sun position. Uh, two things, it snaps back to blue and our clouds are more visible again. Uh, this is not a problem. Uh, we're going to take the sun brightness down to zero so that way we don't see our sun on our sky dome. Uh, you'll see if it's at 20 it'll be nice under our world right there and if we set it to zero it'll be invisible. So we just don't want to see that. Uh, cloud opacity, we can leave that at 0.7. Now the star brightness is what we want to change if we're having a clear night scene. So I'm just going to up that to uh, 1. And boom, you'll see more stars. Obviously, the higher the number you use, the more intense the stars will look. Uh, another thing we can change is in these override settings. Uh, we can use this horizon falloff to determine how this color blends in with the blue sky. Uh, the lower the number, the more it will blend. So if I change this horizon falloff to 1, you'll see that the gradient falls off uh, near the top. And if we set it to uh, 5 or so, it falls off closer to the actual horizon. And then, obviously, the lower the number, the more that reduces it. Uh, the zenith color, you'll see that's the background color of our sky, so we can change that to some pretty outrageous stuff. Uh, I'm just going to darken it a little bit so we kind of get this really dark, nighttime-looking hue. Uh, almost near black. And then we can change this horizon falloff color if you want more of a like a twilight sun on the other side of the world setting you can change it to something like a dark orange or maybe just default dark gray. Uh, the cloud color obviously is going to control the cloud color. Not much explanation needed there. Uh, overall color, uh, this is kinda tricky sometimes uh, but usually it will control the star color and just what we would consider like the background color for the sky and elements in the sky. So usually we leave that at unchanged. Uh, if you want to darken it a little bit, you can just kind of bring everything down. So it's still a little too blue for me. Let's get that a little darker. Okay. So that's the basics of setting up that to be a night scene. Uh, you'll notice that if your stars are not appearing when you click refresh material, you'll want to make sure that this uh, light was rotated 180 degrees. Uh, otherwise, if you rotate it back to its default position and click this refresh, these stars will go away. So even though we're not using this light for any sort of sun positioning or anything, you do want to make sure it's still rotated to uh, 180 degrees and that the material has been refreshed to make sure your stars are there. Uh, that's it. That's the basics of changing the Sky Dome in Unreal Engine 4. Stick around and we may get to some more uh, advanced things using Sky Domes later.